Um, this is Fatih Mosque in Fatih district of Istanbul. Let's get it started and uh, discover the mosque. What's her name? Dennis. Boy, right? Okay. Uh, your son? Okay, very good. He's very handsome. Dennis. Can I film him? Is it okay? Alright. He's crawling, right? He can't walk. What's her name? Mila. Okay. He's Denise. Denise. Probably from Russia, right? Yeah, probably they're Russian. Palestine. Very good. We did not ask for We are victims of society. Okay, goodbye, Denise. Take care. Would like to shake hands? All right. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. I just saw those two uh, pretty kids. Uh, they are uh, from one, uh, one is from Russia and the other, the baby girl is from Jordan, sorry, from Palestine. So babies are really cute. There is no racism, really. Racism is not something natural. Racism is something that is taught, unfortunately. So don't be racist. Being racist is almost the cancer. All right, so let's enjoy the beauty of this beautiful masterpiece mosque. Okay, this is really um, 
magnificent. It gives such passion and um, relief to the heart of people, specifically uh, those people who belong to the religion of Islam, I think. And this is really awesome. So I do my best to show every part of mosque, specifically the interior side of mosque to you right now. As you see people are here praying, people are reading Quran. Here. I'm just a stranger and here we have trying some Islamic to find my way. I references, used to have a home, Islamic literatures, now I'm a which uh, probably it's also possible Running to find folks in English, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not sure, but it's, it's a, also a literature humanity. corner. All I do okay, is pray. people are praying here. Oh, oh, probably oh, the area divided into two sides. Uh, those areas probably belong to um, the women. So women are able also to pray, to perform prayer. And uh, we have another, the majority of the area belongs to men. So as you see, people are here reading and sitting and talking. Uh, I'm not sure that they're talking and chatting. Hey, Salam Alaikum, how are you? How are you, man? Are you okay? Where are you from? Ghana. Ghana. Conakry. No. Cap Guinea Conakry. Guinea Conakry. Ghana. Ghana's capital West city. Africa. Capital city, I forgot. The neighbor of Cote d'Ivoire. Ivory Coast. Yeah, the neighbor. The, the neighbor. Yeah. Ghana, the capital city. Like Accra. Accra, yeah, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> You came to, to travel? Yeah. Okay. Is it your first time being no, here in I'll Turkey? Be, be, yeah. Okay. I'm just filming around. I have a YouTube channel. I try to film uh, beautiful places and to pause on my YouTube channel. So that's why I meet here with people from other backgrounds. And, uh, how is Ghana? How people are they? Are they okay? Okay, I'm from Tajikistan, okay. as a country in the middle of Central Asia. Yeah. You know, all right. Uh, what's your name, sir, by the way? Pasha. Pasha. My name is Gio. Okay, Thank nice to meet you. Okay. <coughs> do, do you allow me to uh, post on YouTube? Is it okay? All right. I, I take your permission first, then I post it. Enjoy your time there. Thank Thanks you. so much. Enjoy it's your time. Like I didn't do anything. So. No, I'm not a Yahudi. I'm Muslim. Alright, thanks sir. Victims of society, refugee. That is what I am. Ya Elohim, I need your helping hand. I don't. 
Where do you go from here? It's like the world wants us to disappear. But it seems he's too angry. Probably he thought that I'm Jewish. I don't know, but he said something. Something with Yahudi, something with Nasara, I don't know. That means you either either Christian or or Jewish. He got so upset. He looked so upset. He was mad at me. You know English? I didn't understand. I was traveling there and suddenly he started to attack me. And he'll translate. Okay. You're calling someone who speaks English? Okay, your friend. Okay. Hey, salam alaikum, man. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm very good. Uh, I just saw your friend. He was sitting here. And... I wondered if uh, he is able to explain me. There was a man who speaks Arabic and he looked so angry. I don't understand why he was so angry. And I asked, no, 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 no. There was an, another man who probably speaking Arabic and he was so angry. He was almost to attack me. And I asked your friend whether he knows him or not. That's why I asked him, uh, would, you t would you tell him? Maybe he knows, maybe he understands. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, here you are. The picture of my life now doesn't have a frame. We are standing here alone, nothing to our names. Oh, Allah, you're the only one who 